There are two ways to approach problem solving. Hi, I'm Ulrike and I'm here to help you find your voice. Have you ever encountered a problem and you didn't know how to solve the problem? Everybody has had that. Here's the thing. If you are encountering a problem, then there is a 100% guarantee that there is a solution. You see, you could not possibly have a problem if there was no solution because at the source, the problem and the solution are one. In the field of the unified field, unboundedness, source, divine, unmanifest, absolute, everything is one. Okay, right here, all one. Then the sucker manifests and what happens? Oh, 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 here we go. The oneness becomes two. It becomes duality. So now there are two. The problem and the solution are separated. But because at some point they were one, we can be 100% sure that there is a solution. So now all we have to do all we have to do, no big deal, is to find that solution. And there are two ways to find that solution. One is we can go to the level off the surface and search far and wide for the solution. Ask everybody and their grandmother for the solution. Google it and research it and YouTube it and do all those things. Go on TikTok or wherever and find a solution. All valid. However, we live in space-time. Space and time are closely linked in that it's finite. And it could take a very long time to find a solution on the surface. The second, much more productive way is you go to the level with your awareness where the solution and the problem are still one. Meaning you meditate with an effective uh, technique. In my case, it's TM and has been for 45 years. You go to the source and by simply by becoming one with that, you are becoming one with both the problem and the solution. And so often when you come out of that meditation, it'll be like a light bulb going up on in your head. You must have had that experience. You are looking for something or for somebody. Somebody has been on your mind. Something has been on your mind. And then you forget all about it. And suddenly you run into the person or you find the thing. You went to the grocery store. You forgot something. And you knew there was something, but you just forgot about it. You just magically go down the aisle and there it is. Your eye falls on it. And if you have any awareness left, you'll go, oh, thank you. There it is. That approach is more time efficient and it works better. It is going straight down vertically to source. And because you have that connection, you will find the solution to whatever problem it is on the surface much more quickly. So try that. Whatever works for you to get to the level of the self, of the transcendence, use that. For me, like I said, it's been transcendent limitation for 45 years. And when you do that, either immediately or very quickly, you will have that feeling of, oh, that, I should try that. Case in point, today, we live in an incredibly windy area, and today was just nuts. And we have balcony doors. We live in a little cabin. And the balcony doors are not <laughs> square. I mean, the, the frame is not square. So they're sort of like eh, a little off. And there is a little bit of wind coming through. And you, if you're a musician, which I am, which maybe you are too, because you're signed up for my singing thing, which this has almost nothing to do with, but still important. When there is a little bit of wind coming through, the wind will have a chance to make a sound. And it was howling in the whole house. It was just driving us crazy in our nine cats. We were just sitting there going, Arr. 
And I knew there was a solution. I knew it. And my darling man was pretty sure that he had tried everything and nothing was working and nothing was working. And we called people, we called the workers and their friends and, and yeah, you have to redo the whole thing. You have to spend thousands of dollars on redoing the whole door and maybe put a window in instead of a balcony door. And I'm going, no, not happening. I know there is a re there is a reason this is happening and there is a solution even right now. So we just sort of tuned into our intuition and we tried different things. And suddenly we had an idea. What if we put little shims into the area that are now open, where the wind is coming through? So we did that. And guess what? It's quiet. My house is finally quiet. And that is because we stayed in touch with that intuition that felt very strongly that there is a solution. So what is it? You sort of sense, you just sort of tune in and sense, what is it? There is a solution. You're sure about it. You're 100% positive. And what the heck is it? And we found it. So that was just an example that made me remind, remember that it's something I really wanted to share with you because life is full of problems, right? But now we know that if there is a problem, there is a solution. There is. And the sooner we go to the source of where the two are one, the closer we are to the solution. All right. I hope that helped. It didn't have too much to do with the voice, but still finding your voice also means finding your center and coming into your own and figuring out this whole thing that we call life. All right. Love you. And I'll see you again very soon. Like and share and follow. Bye-bye.